Puma just dropped their new Future Z boots in this teaser edition. And I'm not really sure about it. What's going on guys, Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports, back with a brand new video. Thank you for stopping by as always. Before we begin, you know what I'm about to say. Please hit that subscribe button. There's a lot of you here that have seen my videos. Hit the subscribe button because I've got a lot of great content coming, so please support the channel and let's get into the video. Puma just announced the drop of this new Puma Future Z edition or Z edition, depending on how you say it, in this teaser release colorway. The first thing I need to say is I'm a huge fan of the Puma Future, specifically the latest iterations, the Puma Future 5.1 and the Puma Future technically 6.1, but it's no different than the 5.1. I own and absolutely love the Puma Future 5.1. The 6, like I said, the 6.1 is the exact same boot, so there's really no difference there. I don't know why they bothered to change the name. But the last generation of the Puma Future was incredible. I really liked it. I liked the upper. The net fit system was great on the last generation of the Puma Futures. I was a huge fan. I don't think it's something that you were going to fool around with every single time you wore the boot, but it gave you the freedom to kind of, you know, fiddle with it, tinker with it, and just find that perfect fit for you. And once you found it, you'd kind of leave it there and just let it, you know, do its job. So I really liked the net fit system. I just liked the upper of the Puma Future. I was a big fan of that Evo knit system and the Evo knit material. So I'm a little bit disappointed to see them change the boot. That's why I said I'm not really sure how I feel about this new drop yet. I don't have the boots. I'm going to have to wait to 2021. I'm not going to buy the teaser edition. It's just too early. They're very limited pairs. And from what I've read, it's actually not even finished. There is a little bit of a texture thing that they're going to do on the forefoot area of the upper of the boot on the actual release in early 2021. So we'll see what that brings in 2021, but I just wanted to talk about the announcement because it's a boot that is one of my favorites, the Puma Future, I really like it. And like I said, the last generation was really, really good. So when I saw this, I really wasn't sure what to think. I'm a little bit on the fence. I'm almost disappointed because I don't know if I like the way these things look. Again, I'm judging them very, very early. I'm judging them based on what I've seen, what I've read, and the announcement that was leaked today. So other than this information, it's hard for me to say, but based on the information we've been presented with, I'm really not sure about them, so I want to share that with you. First of all, I'm not the biggest Neymar fan. So him being the lead athlete, hey, you know what? That's Puma's business. And so when I see this boot, I'm just not sure about it. They've kind of taken the Evo knit material, used it in one portion of the boot, but then really broke up the upper of this boot. So what I've seen so far is they've broken the boot up into three different sections. You have the heel portion of the boot, which is made out of Evo knit. That's a good thing. You have the middle portion of the boot, which is this new precision band or future band system. Hold on. What are they calling it? The fusion fit system, there you go. And then of course you have this new grip control mesh based material apparently in the forefoot area of the boot. So they've taken a boot that had a great upper and now they've completely changed the upper and divided the upper into three different sections. So I don't know how those three materials are gonna work with each other. I don't know what the three are gonna feel like individually and then when you throw them all together, who knows what it's gonna feel like. So a Puma Future that was really based on fit, that really sold well because of its fit and fit really, really well, you know, now you've taken that element of that boot away for this new Future Z. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna think about it. It's gonna be really interesting to see how these three materials work together. And so that's why I'm a little bit skeptical. The other thing I've heard is the grip control system, this mesh based upper material in the forefoot area that you see right here. Apparently, it's kind of smooth and silky and almost slippery. So apparently that's something that's already been announced to change for the actual release in 2021 based on some of the things that Unisport has presented. So apparently they're gonna put a little bit more of a grip texture in that forefoot area to give you this, you know, a little bit more texture on the ball, a little bit of a better feel on the ball from the initial feedback. So I don't know. I'm just not sure about this new upper material. That, like I said, the Puma Future was, its selling point was its fit. It's upper, it's Evo knit upper and the way the thing fit around your foot. Now you've taken that upper, divided it up into three different materials. Who knows how those three materials are gonna to work together. So I'm just not sure about it. The positive thing is the sole plate actually looks pretty cool. We haven't had a sole plate change in a while. I like the sole plate. 
I don't know if you need it to change it, but I'm a fan of seeing different ideas in Soul Plate. So this one looks pretty good. So I'm just very curious to see how this upper is, and I'm really not too sure about it. Of course, we're going to have to see. Some of you might be like, oh, you're judging this boot too soon. And I probably am. Again, I don't have it in hand. I don't have it on feet. But from what I've seen, from what I've read, I don't know. I'm really on the fence about it, and I just thought I'd share my first impressions of the Puma Future Z to let you guys know what I think is coming and what I'm a little skeptical about. The only thing I will say is if that mesh forefoot area is similar to the Evo Power Vigors, those were fantastic. Arguably better than the Puma Futures. I think if I had to pick my favorite Puma boot ever, it would be the Puma Evo Power Vigors, and then just behind it, not by much, would be the Puma Future 5.1 slash 6.1 because it's the same boot. So if they could take that upper material, again, the, the Vigor was made out of a mesh-based upper. If you could take that mesh-based upper in the forefoot and make it kind of feel like the Puma Evo Power Vigor, and then have the Evo knit from the Puma Future, and you can combine that in a way that's exceptional, you might actually have the best boot. That's the thing I'm kind of crossing my fingers for and hoping to see. So if they can do that, I think it'll be a great boot. But from what I've seen so far, taking away the NetFit system, having less Evo knit on the boot, three different materials, I'm just not sure how that upper is going to come together. I just wanted to give you my first impressions. I'll let you know what we've kind of heard from this new drop. And that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. I'm very curious. This is a discussion. Leave your comments down below. I always get an answer out to you. Please smash this video with a like. It always helps the video and the channel out. And last but not least, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports. I'm signing off for now. Take care and peace.